Hello class, we're going to go over how to calculate the probability of a value um, being randomly selected within a uniform distribution. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. One is through stack crunch and the other one is by hand. We'll go over the stack crunch method first because that's the one that I recommend first and foremost. Um, thus far what we have been working with is normal distribution. So when we switch to uniform distributions that's where a lot of people kind of get tricked up. Um, but it's actually quite simple when we really try to break it down in kind of more concrete terms. So first we're going to go into stack crunch and we're going to go into calculators and you're going to see you're going to have two options here discrete uniform and uniform which ones do you use well if i look at my unit of measurement here it's 4.25 so minutes 4.25 especially is going to be a continuous measurement not a discrete one so i'm going to go into just regular uniform and so really you could call this uniform calculator the continuous uniform calculator and it would mean the same thing now I have the option here of changing the base of my rectangle here and see this is a uniform distribution. It means that the probability of any value being selected within this distribution is equal among all of these things here. All right, so I know that uh, the uh, range of my wait times or the distribution of my uniform distribution, the range of my uniform distribution is from zero to six minutes. Okay. Uh, compute and as you can see it will fill in uh, which side of my rectangle or box here is what the area that it's computing for and I'm going to quickly change this to 4.25 oops 4.25 and I'm going to switch this from less than and equal to to greater than and equal to okay and this really shows me quite clearly that I am looking for the probability of somebody being selected from the emergency room after they have been waiting in that emergency room for more than 4.25 minutes and that shows me that this is the area that it's calculating here and so the mathematical notation that you see in the bottom here is given value x which is x here which is on the x-axis what is the p probability and we can as you can see we can change that from greater than or equal to or and then change whatever the value is in here as long as it's between uh, the low end and the high end of that distribution and it will calculate what that value is 0 0.2916 I round that 0 0.296 0 0.292 that's the correct answer Okay, so you have to first make sure that uh, you understand if it's greater than or lesser than, make sure that you've put in the lower and upper limit accordingly, and then make sure you're putting in the correct number here accordingly as well, and it will give you your answer, and it will save you a lot of time. Now, just to go over this very quickly, let's say that instead of minutes, it's asking you what's the it's a uniform distribution, looking at the number of children uh, within a family that's selected from the hospital room. So the number of children is a discrete value. You're not going to find many families with just half a child hanging around. So in that case, what we're going to go is into calculators and we're going to do discrete uniform. As you can see here, I'm going to change this so that they're the same upper and lower limits so it's more comparable. Here what I have is instead of a box, I really have, I have seven bars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's including zero here. And what this essentially does is it's going to change the height of these bars compared to the height of this box, this rectangle here. As you can see, the box here goes uh, past 1.15, whereas the bars here just get to uh, 0.15. And we can kind of go over that in a second, but overall what you can see here is that if I change this now to uh, greater than, equal than, put in 4.25 compute it's going to give me different answers so you have to be certain if you're dealing with a discrete variable when you're drawing from your uniform distribution or a continuous variable because it will give you different answers simply because uh, it is uh, the height of these bars compared to the height of this box is different and that's just because you have to be able to redistribute the overall area of each of these distributions which is equal to one differently depending on if it's continuous versus discrete so let's do a quick example of this by hand right so you get a question with a uniform distribution and you know that the lower and upper range is six well we're, we're really what we're trying to figure out is what is the height which is H. 
What you already know, or what you should know, is that the area of this box is 1, okay? And so if this is a continuous uh, distribution, what we're going to do is basically divide 1 by 6 to give us the height, right? And that's basic geometry. And so what we know is that if we do a calculation here, if you do this within a calculator, it equals 0.167. All right, and that is the height of my box, 0.167. All right, now if I know that I am looking for the um, area of the box uh, to the right, so if I'm looking at 4.25, and I'm looking for all of the area, and this is what's the probability that I'm going to be guessing within the right of this value, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put into my calculator 1 minus 1 divided by 6 times 4.25, close parentheses. Okay, so basically what this first step is doing here is that I am taking the height, right, that I know of, so this value here, and I'm timesing it by the base here, right? And so that is going to give me, if I do this math very quickly, a value of, if I just look at this part here first, 0.7083. And this isn't our answer, right? This is actually the area to the left of our box here. And that's what we want. That's not what we want. We want what is to the area to the right of the box. That's why we subtract it from 1. And when we do that, we get the same answer, which equals 0.29166. We round that to three decimal places, 2.92, which is the correct answer. And so another way of doing this calculation, um, if you are uh, don't want to kind of confuse yourself with this one minus and then this formula here, is that essentially you determine what is just the, the base of the box on this side. So I know that it's 1.75 because uh, 6 minus 4.25 is going to equal this. And then I'm going to times that by the height of my box, which is 0.167 times that. And that's going to give me the same answer. Or just roughly, really, because of rounding errors. But you're going to be okay. 2.5. 225 and so this if you round it correctly according to what it's asking for here is the same answer either way just make sure that you're rounding and that's it so this I hope gives you the appropriate intuition about how to calculate a probability given a value being drawn from a uniform distribution and giving you some of the tools on how to calculate that probability given if your distribution is discrete or continuous. All right, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.